This week on Big Red's Cooking, Sol a la Manure. Hi, and welcome back to Big Red's Cooking. I'm Big Red. So this week I'm doing a real classic for you. You know, I did a fish taco last week and that's sort of a modern dish definitely for people around here. This week I'm doing another fish dish. But this is really deep, digging deep into the French canon. And this is one of these dishes that I teach my students year after year. And every single one of them is always blown away by the simplicity of it, but how well the flavors work together. And it really is a classic for a reason. So it's called Sol à la Meunier. M-E-N-I-E-U-R-E, I think. But basically what it is, is a sole, pan fried sole and we're going to do a lemon butter parsley sauce with it. Now the whole dish will take you probably no more than 10 or 12 minutes. It's a really quick and simple dish. So, you know, whatever you're going to have as a side with this, I would make sure I start that first. So why don't we go ahead and jump over to our workbench, my favorite place, and we'll pick up over there. All right, so as I was saying, this is a really, really easy dish to put together. I'm using sole this evening, but in all honesty, you could use pretty much any white fish and even some like fatty fishes, things like salmon, things and whatnot. But classically, traditionally, this is a sole dish. And who can't, you can't be a little sole food. <laughs> So I've actually already got my rice going here and it's pretty much finished up. Uh, I've got some green peas going for myself as well. Because the thing is, is that this dish is such a quick cooking dish. And we want that fish to be nice and hot at the end. That I want to make sure that everything else is ready to go before I even start my fish. Because once we get started on this. The rest it's going to just come together really sort of quick tickety boo so i'm actually going to put my fish and my flour to the side for a moment and we're going to start with our lemon and our parsley so really this sauce is basically butter lemon juice and parsley and not much more so anytime i'm working with a citrus fruit where i need to get some juice out of it i always like to give it a little bit of a roll around before i go slicing into it because I find it breaks down some of the inside there, it softens it up and just helps me get a little bit more juice out of it. So all I'm going to do actually is I'm going to, right off the bat, I'm going to take half of it and just going to put it to the side. Because I need some juice and I'm going to squeeze it out of that. Now the other thing that we need for this, and I just saw Pip there so I popped it out, is that we need slices of lemon with no peel. So the easiest way I find to do that is we're just going to take our lemon and we've already sliced off and this is actually a really common way for peeling lots of fruits and vegetables so we're just going to take our knife and we're just going to go right down into our peel now, I want to make sure that I've got no white left at all so now that I've got that first piece away I can follow the edge and use the rest of that as a guide and as long as I'm making sure I've got none of that white peel left with each piece I pull off, I can just keep going around and around and around until I get that whole lemon peeled off. Well, you know, it might be a little juicy and messy, but that's okay. Like I said, we want to make sure we've got none of that outside white at all so we can see now if I just take that and rotate it around we can see we've gotten all that peel so now we're gonna do now just a couple of really nice thin slices and again if you see any pips or seeds go ahead and pop those out just put that to the side for now a few more pips there Now if you don't have fresh lemon, that's okay. You know, it'll change the dish, but it'll be just as good. So 
uh, you know you can feel free to go ahead and use lemon juice from a bottle but I happen to have a fresh lemon here so I'll pick this up today at the grocery store so I'm doing it with fresh lemon so I'm just gonna put these pieces of lemon to the side because we're gonna need that right at the end I'll just put the rest of the rest of this to the side actually I can just go right on into my compost I'm gonna chop up a little parsley and again I have fresh parsley but you know what if you can't find fresh parsley go ahead and use a little bit of dry that's okay I'm gonna say it'll be different no better no worse just different now if you've never tried chopping fresh parsley like this before the first thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna give this a quick rinse with a little bit of cold water so we can just take our parsley and bunch it up really nice and tight and if you haven't watched my video on cutting techniques I'd recommend that and I'll link it at the end but we basically we just want to nice and finely just chop, 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 chop. And once we've done that, we can just take our knife. Oh, smells so wonderful. This is releasing you know, those, that nice fresh herbiness to it. And we can see now we've got some really nice light fluffy parsley. So again, we're just going to push that to the side because we're going to need that for the end. And that's all we're really going to need at this point. So now we're just, I'm just going to push this a little way. Now we got my flour and I got my pieces of sole here. Now I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up, I hope. But if you've ever handled sole or fish in general, really we talk about two different sides to the fish. So this is the flesh side or the inside basically. And then this back side here, it's a little browner we can see. And that's the skin side. So anytime we're starting, whenever we're cooking fish, we always want to start on our presentation side or our flesh side. And that'll become important in a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my pan here now. I'm gonna throw a bit of butter in my pan. And again, now this is one of these dishes that if you got real butter, it's gonna make all the difference in the world. Go ahead and use margarine if that's what you have, but there's just something about the taste of real butter that is just very difficult to beat. And we don't want this too hot. We basically want to bring our butter to just get that nice little sort of, you know, bubbling a little bit so we can get that good sear. We don't want it, you know, we don't want it too cold because then the flour that we're going to put on our fish here now in a moment is just going to absorb all that oil and we don't want it too hot because then it's definitely going to burn not only our fish but our butter itself. So we just want to get that to that nice sort of, you know, sizzle point. So while my butter is melting, I'm just going to a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Now I'm using white pepper because I have it. If you don't have white pepper, go ahead and use black pepper. No? Restaurants make a big deal about it because it's all about making it look pretty and things like that. But really, who are you trying to impress? And we want to wait and add our, you know, put this into our flour right at the last minute. If we put it in too early, it's going to start to absorb some of those mo the moisture from the fish is going to hydrate and it's going to end up a little bit gummier. We don't want that. We want to get that nice crisp you know, crust to the fish itself. I've already got my spatula ready to go and that's really important to have and ready. You don't want to try to be fumbling around because this is going to cook really, really quickly. A 
to look at my peas here. Yeah, they're looking good. I'm going to turn that completely off. My rice is just sitting there. I know that'll be fine and ready to go once I start plating this up. So our butter is almost ready to go here now. We can see it's starting to sizzle a little bit. We're starting to get a little bit of action going on and that's what I want to see. Yeah, and that butter is just starting to color ever so lightly. We can go ahead and a little bit of flour. And what we want to do is give this a really good shake and make sure we got all the excess off. And again, so put that flesh side down first. So that's nice and ready to go. And we can see uh, there's not too much heat here. We have that little bit of bubbling going on, but there's definitely no smoking happening. And we don't want to, we definitely want to avoid any smoking. We don't want this to burn. It's a really nice and delicate dish. And those milk solids in that butter will burn if that butter gets too hot. Now, a lot of recipes for this dish will call for clarified butter. And that's a little bit of an extensive process. So with a little bit of care, we can go ahead and do this with whole butter. And that's all I generally do. A little peak. Not quite ready yet. Again, we want to try and handle this with care so we don't break our fish. And we can see there's a nice light golden brown color there. And that's really what we're looking for. At this point, I'm using my lovely old cast iron. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love cast iron. I know there's plenty of heat left in this pan to finish this off, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off right now. I don't want to get too hot. I can see a bit of smoke starting to rise here now. Let's have a quick look underneath. Yep, and that's looking good to me. Let's go ahead and pop that on there. Oh, definitely. Pop that on there. And what we're going to do now, and just arrange this a little bit better. So now what we do is we go ahead and pop some of these nice, really thin lemon slices right up on top. And then we take a little bit of our parsley and sprinkle over top of that. put this hot pan to the side I got this nice lovely little cast iron skillet so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one on and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a what's referred to as a bernoisette in French or brown butter I'm just gonna take a little bit of our butter here Now what we want to do is to just ever so slightly brown this. Now, and we need to be really careful here because once this starts to brown, it's going to get brown really, really fast. So as soon as we see a little bit of color, we're going to turn off our heat and we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour it right over the top of our fish. So I like to keep this moving. Now 
Like I say, what we're really trying to do, so butter itself is about 80 to 85 percent fat. The remaining, remaining portions of it are water and then there's some milk solids in there and it's those milk solids that will actually start to caramelize and create a little bit of color for us. And there you go, I can see just those ever light particles of brown in there. And we're going to go ahead and just pour this right over the top. And there we go, we have sole a la manure. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of rice on top, oh, to this place, plate. A few green peas. And why don't we shift on over to the counter and we'll have a, a better look at this dish and give it a little taste. So doesn't that look fantastic? Let's go ahead and give this a little taste. Mm. That butter combines with that lemon so well. You can hear my dog's nails coming on over. She knows I'm eating something good. Mm. And there's dog number two. So you can see, really simple little dish. Great dish to add into your repertoire. There's not too much to it. This works so well. well. Like I said, classically, this is a soul dish. But you can go ahead and use a bit of cod. You know, use a bit of pickering, whatever. You know, a nice light fish is going to work with this best. Halibut even. But that combination of the butter and lemon with that nice brightness of the parsley all comes together to complement the fish so well. And such an easy thing to do. You know, I'm serving it with rice and peas today. That's just what I like. You want to have it with a bit of mashed potato, go ahead. You know, French fries. Have it with a bit of pasta, really. You know, the side doesn't matter so much. You know, so go ahead and give this a shot. You know, try something new. Uh, as always, if you've liked this video, I'm going to ask you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, please share this video around. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Keep tuning back. Keep trying to make yourself some great food. Can't wait to see you again. Bye for now.